Now I do know everyone who's played Deep Oak and probably knows what Conquest will kind of be like, but I'm here just to reaffirm everything that's been one confirmed through the devs, been said in updates and everything like that. Now if you're not really sure what Conquest is, Conquest is supposed to be a kind of like a BR instance but with more game modes and kind of more a unique player experience. Now the first time I could see Conquest actually being confirmed to come out was kind of mid-summer of 2023. Now in this post it also was saying that they will be added new major world events that would be kind of larger in scale than what we do have now like the tower ocean events and whatnot is supposed to be more of a kind of world event with pvp and pve based things now i don't believe that we have all the promised world events that they said but i do know things like the rock event and the depths and whatnot was added so we have gotten some world events since then now, they have added new concept art and whatnot to the game mode and kind of made a sneak peek for all the players. So the sneak peek was kind of a skull holding a ball in the mouth. So most people did infer the new game mode that was going to come out was going to be King of the Hill or like capture the flag or like hold the point kind of vibe. So that is the thoughts of the game mode that should be or might be coming out with Conquest. Now the first things I will be talking about Conquest are things that are confirmed and that is two unique item drops from Conquest and one of them is the Inquisitor's Duster which was a unattainable armor kinda which was for I think devs only. And the other item that was guaranteed or confirmed to come out was the Bloodsworn Effigy which was a banner style weapon that was pulled I think three or four months ago and it won the poll. So they did say they would confirm release this with Conquest. Now I think one important thing to also cover, they did show a screen snippet of a sneak peek to the map of Conquest. However, this has been kind of readapted because they did say that they would take the smooth terrain type like what was in Monkey's Paw and in Chime and remove it and add the, I guess, original style of like Roblox terrain back to it. So it shouldn't change much, but there will be a small change. And I guess the appearance of what, if you have seen the screenshot that you might think it would look like. Now, other than that, they are new items and possibly four O's that will be coming out with Conquest. There's multiple people saying there's three, they're saying four. And I do believe the devs had said there would be a couple O's coming out. So no one's too sure on the exact number, but I'm pretty sure this was said during a live stream or something, so I couldn't really find the, the you know, the leading information about it with a, you know, concrete post or anything like that. Now, we have been confirmed that Warmaster is not one of the oaths that will be coming out with Conquest, and we are guaranteed that none of the oaths are, like, unique to Conquest in any way. They will be fully open world oaths, just like Star Kindred and everything else. Now, I do believe there is one confirmed oath, and that is the Hero's Blade Oath. And I'm not really sure if there is a name for it. However, there is a Twitter post that basically confirms that it will be coming out. Now, it isn't confirmed that it will be coming out with Conquest. However, I do believe that it will be. So that might be one of the three to four oaths that we do get. Now, other than oaths and just weapons, there is a new origin coming with Conquest, which is a pretty huge content drop in itself. Now there is a good amount of information about this origin because Agamatsu did have a video about him kind of interviewing this dev and I will put that link in the description if you do want to go ahead and see that video. So to summarize what they kind of said about the origin for the hive, it's going to be a kind of reformatted PvE way to prog that is relatively safer than normal prog. And it, many people are inferring because of this, it's going to probably be a monster bounty or a mission board type of origin that allows you to progress faster via PvE. Now in this interview, they were a, I guess, opening about a boss that will be coming out with the origin in itself so it was called polaris and i do believe that it has been confirmed to be coming out with the origin not added later so there is speculations about the polaris boss coming out with the origin there's also kind of confirmed that they will be new items that come out with the boss as long as he has the assets for it so there might also be new items coming out with the hive boss 
Now, I do believe that is all confirmed new content that is coming out with Conquest, but there is old content that is getting reworked, such as Dread Serpent. I think they're reworking the entire boss fight, I do believe, and they are making a new model for the Lionfish. Now, the last update that was about Conquest in the update channel of the Depot Conserver itself did say Conquest is relatively finished. All they gotta do is polish it up and fix some of the in-match progression mechanics and whatnot to make it more polished for the players. So we may be getting it today or we might be getting it in about a week or two depending on how long this does take. Now I do believe that is all the content that is supposed to be releasing with Conquest. So if I have missed any just drop it in the comments below. But that is all I do have for today so thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.